Hello and welcome to Cricket Happenings, dear friends and subscribers. What a day we had today, where India were almost on the brink of elimination in the Asia Cup, when Hong Kong really gave them the biggest scare probably in their ODI history today, when Hong Kong actually uh, chased a target that was set by India of 285 for 7 with their openers, Anshi Rad, the captain, and Nizakat Khan, the other opener, were putting together a stand of 100, Nizakat Khan putting 174 run stand, which was the highest ever stand by an Hong Kong openers in their history, in Hong Kong ODI history. And India had made 285 for 7, led by Shikhar Dhawan, who held the innings together, and he made his 14th ODI century, and Hong Kong were chasing that total. And, and Ratt and uh, Nizakat Khan, the openers, uh, really, really uh, started going onto an all-out attack against the Indian pace bowlers, which is a second-string pace attack, and barring Bhavaneshwar Kumar. Uh, and, um, and after that, Hong Kong chasing that total uh, were only uh, really, really stopped by the Indian spinners. Uh, Jado, uh, Chahal, and Kuldi Pyado, who gave 67 runs in 18 overs, if my if my um, calculation is correct. And after that, it was really looking like Hong Kong were going to upset the apple cart of India today. As I said, it was the biggest ever scan, and Hong Kong would be very, very proud of this. And why not? They definitely uh, deserved a lot of credit for doing this to India, and they. And only it's because of the left-arm pace bowler, young Kali Lama, who was making his debut and was very impressive uh, on his ODI debut with 3 for 48, who actually uh, really, really stopped, uh, uh, stopped everything and saw to it that India will win the match. So India winning the match by 26 runs. And can you believe it? India 285 for 7, Hong Kong chasing it all the way down to the wire with 259 for 8. What a big scare for India. And looking at the way India played, one is really wondering, um, um, okay, I, I'll come back to that later. And then uh, we will, okay, let's have a look at the, uh, look at what happened here. Uh, and in Dubai, nobody would have probably expected this to happen in the fourth match, Group A Asia Cup at Dubai. And the toss was won by Hong Kong, and Hong Kong decided that they would insert India into bat first. Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan started. Uh, well, um, uh, Rohit Sharma was not really getting uh, anything on the middle of the bat, uh, so it was not a very convincing innings from Rohit Sharma, even though he hit four boundaries in his 23. But Shikhar Dhawan was looking uh, in fine touch, as he was the one who was scoring the runs, and um, India, the Indian openers had put a partnership of 45 runs for the first wicket, when the first wicket fell, as uh, Ehsan Khan, who also did well against in, uh, Pakistan, I reckon, he was the one who gave them the breakthrough, as um, this was a ball uh, which just floated on the off stump uh, and inviting Rohit to go for it. And uh, in fact, uh, Rohit actually tried to cross bat the delivery, uh, but he was not really up to the pitch of the ball and he was a gone, gone. Rohit Sharma was gone, caught Nizakat Khan. Zakat Khan bowled Asan Khan for 23 of uh, 22 balls with four boundaries. So, so Hassan uh, Khan, the spinner, actually taking the wicket of Rohit Sharma. That was wicket number one. Ambati Raidu came back and then um, and uh, from 45 for one, uh, India recovered in a very big manner due to the partnership between Shikhar Dhawan and Ambati Raidu. Shikhar Dhawan was uh, playing his shots. Uh, with absolute panache, he was um, really, really uh, sending the ball screaming into the fence. And the pitch was a bit slow, let me tell you. The ball was not really coming very easily onto the bat. And um, Ambati Raidu was also playing his strokes. And Ambati Raidu and Shikhar Dhawan put on a big partnership uh, of, um, uh, I think it was, um, they took the score to 161. So that will tell you uh, that it was a 116 uh, run uh, partnership. Uh, that ensued between Shikhar Dhawan and Ambati Raidu. As that was going on, Ambati Raidu uh, was a victim of the bowling of Hassan Nawaz. 
um, Hassan Nawaz took his wicket uh, when um, he was caught behind. It was a good catch taken by the uh, wicketkeeper McKinney. Uh, it was a bouncer uh, and over the shoulder of the bat of shoulder of uh, Ambadi Raidu and uh, Gaidal, uh, Raidu was probably trying to uppercut it uh, down to third man but in the end he could not uh, do it. He got a, a glove onto it and uh, McKinney behind the stumps who did a fine job today uh, actually uh, took the <coughs> took the catch so he was gone but Ambati Raidu will be very happy he made 60 of 70 deliveries which included three fours and two sixes and after that Dinesh Karthik um, uh, also could not really force the pace uh, Shikhar Dhawan was the only one who had a real handle on the Hong Kong bowlers as he went on to hit his 14th ODI century uh, in total he made 127 of 120 deliveries uh, which included 15 fours, uh, 15 fours and two sixes, which was marvelously done. And as I said, the wickets were falling at regular intervals, but it was Shikhar Dhawan who was holding the Indian innings together and eventually got the man of the match as well and truly deserved it. Dinesh Karthik was caught by Babar Hayat of the bowling of uh, Kinchit Shah uh, for 33. Uh, he holed out to the deep mid-wicket region and he was gone. Uh, because India were um, uh, trying to get some quick runs against the slow bowlers and that resulted in Dinesh Karthik succumbing for 33 of 38 three fours. But the, the, the most disappointment was that Mahindra Singh Goni, on whom lot would have been expected at that stage uh, to really bring back India, uh, probably India would have expected a score of about 300 at that time when India were 242 for three. Uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni failed and that was the big thing. Now this was a ball, this was another catch which was taken by uh, the wicketkeeper McKinney behind the stumps. Uh, he wanted to, um, uh, this was the Esan Khan, the spinner. Uh, in fact, Dhoni was on the leg side and uh, he wanted to, uh, you know, probably uh, push it away with the turn. But uh, the ball actually skidded through outside off uh, and it was... Um, a nice catch, a very good catch taken by McKinney with good reflexes. And so that was the biggest, uh, one could see stunned silence in the Dubai cricket ground when MS Dhoni was dismissed for a blob, which rarely is a case, as we all know. So, and that was Esam Khan, as I said, was absolutely on cloud nine because he knew that he had got the biggest wicket and because uh, if Dhoni would have been there, one knows what he can do. He can murder any bowling in the world as we all know. So Dhoni was gone, out for naught, and then finally Bhavanesh uh, Kumar was out and definitely full credit to the uh, to the uh, Netherlands, uh, to the Hong Kong bowlers for doing a wonderful job in the last 10 overs when it was really the death overs. Uh, India should have definitely, uh, looking at the score, India should have definitely passed 300 but they could not thanks to some very good bowling uh, from the uh, Hong Kong bowlers and India were kept to 285 for 7. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar was out for 9, Shadul Thakur for naught, and Kedar Jada was the only one who made sure he hit 1-6 uh, in a knock of uh, an unbeaten 28 of 27 balls uh, to take India uh, to 285 for 7 and um, so that was the Indian score and one definitely full credit to Hong Kong uh, bowlers for actually not allowing India uh, to even go past the 300 mark. That itself was a big victory for them, no doubt about it. Uh, Tanvir Abzal, 4 was none for 34, was a costly. Um, um, Ezan Nawaz, 8 was one for 50. Ezan Khan, 8 was 141. Uh, Ezan Khan, 10 was 265, the spinner. Nadi Mehmed, uh, the most experienced uh, bowler from Hong Kong, um, uh, did his job perfectly. 10 hours, no made a none for 39, the left arm spinner. Nizakat Khan, 1 hour for 15. KD Shah also did a fine job. 9 hours, no made in 39 runs and 3 wickets with his office. Now, uh, Hong Kong were given a target of 286 runs to win the match. And, um, and one knew that uh, the Indian bowling, even though it was a second string um, uh, bowling unit, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar was there and when we all know that Bhuvaneshwar Kumar is a very economical bowler but today it was not to be. In fact, Kali Lamad was making his debut and Shadal Thakur, that was the bowling combination for India 
and Nizakat Khan and Anshuman Rudd, the captain of the Hong Kong team, were playing with supreme confidence right from the word go. And the pace bowlers had no effect on these two opening batsmen as Anshuman Rudd play, kept playing his strokes and Nizakat Khan was also stroking the ball beautifully as uh, they sped along uh, at a very, very rapid rate. And in fact, they were they were on to the run rate. They needed a run rate of, uh, uh, they, um, Hong Kong needed a run rate of 5.7. In fact, they were over the run rate. Uh, such was the command and the mastery that they had over the pass bowlers. And in fact, they targeted Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, unfortunately, uh, was uh, was a really, really weak link, which, uh, because Bhuvaneshwar Kumar was the one who was the one who was going to uh, man the uh, pace attack. But um, unfortunately, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar was totally ineffective. Khalil Ahmed on his debut was very impressive uh, with his bounce and swing, but definitely it was a matter of nerves as he was playing his uh, first ever uh, match in ODI and his ODI debut as well. Shardul Thakur was totally hammered. Uh, they targeted Shardul Thakur by uh, hitting him for 41 runs of his four overs and that was another problem for India. And suddenly, before one could realize, this Hong Kong team was not giving any chance to India and they were speeding along uh, like a real racer car, one could say, as the, as the score kept on going. And then the captain Rohit Sharma had to summon the spinners into action. And it was only when the spinners came back, that was the time that India could actually get the uh, Hong Kong uh, uh, start putting some control on the Hong Kong innings as Usain Chahal, Kuldeep Yadav and Kedar Jadav, both all the three combined and they saw to it that uh, they, they kept the runs. In, in fact, even though Nisakat Khan and Hanshuman Rath were there at the crease, the openers, uh, they made sure uh, that uh, the run rate, the asking rate uh, was really going up uh, as, they, as the spinners really did a fine job and Nisakat Khan and Anshuman Rath could not force the pace at the time. So that was one good thing for India uh, which happened and that was going on. But still, they had all their wickets intact and things were going on and they also broke their opening stand which was uh, set against Ireland, I reckon, Nizakat Khan and Anshuman Rath which was 170. Today they broke that with a 174 run stand at 174. Uh, uh, on the score on 174 uh, in the 35th over and with 15 overs to go uh, definitely uh, looking at the way Hong Kong was playing looking at the way the, both the openers were playing uh, one would have definitely said uh, that it was a big scare for India but Nizakat Khan and Anshuman Rath were going on and then finally the first wicket to go was Anshuman Rath so let's see what happened Kuldi Piada was the bowler um, in fact, it was a gentle drive from Anshuman Rath, probably uh, not, a, uh, not a fully committed drive. Um, he tried to loft it along with the turn, and, but he lofted it straight to Sharma and that was the end of Anshuman Rath. So that was wicket number one and India were heaving a sigh of relief as Anshuman Rath, the Hong Kong captain, was the first victim, caught Sharma whole Kuldi Piyadav for 73 of 97 deliveries which included four fours and one six. Uh, and the other, Nizakat Khan was going very strong at that stage. From 174 for one, with only one run added, the, his opening partner, Nizakat Khan, uh, was a victim as Khalil Ahmed was brought on by Rohit Sharma into the bowling attack. And he actually, um, um, Nizakat Khan was trapped LBW. Unfortunately, he truly deserved a century but he was trapped LBW by Khalil Ahmed for 92, 115 balls, 12 fours and 1 six. And that was India really striking back there as um, he was trying to flick a ball which was coming into him. And um, it was, um, this was uh, probably the ball was going to hit the middle stump. And uh, that, that was, and he was caught in the crease as well. So that was gone. And now the score read 175 for two. And now India had uh, some control because they had two new batsmen at the crease and two new batsmen at the crease. It was uh, Babar Hayat, the best batsman um, from the Hong Kong team and he was along with Carter. But then Kali Lamad uh, went on to pick up the wicket of, um, he, he picked up the wicket of Carter. Uh, Kali Lamad went on to pick up the wicket of Carter 
uh, for three. He was caught behind by Dhoni of the bowling of Ahmed. Khalil Ahmed taking that wicket. Uh, and uh, let's see as to uh, what happened uh, as far as uh, Carter was concerned. Now, Babar Hayat was indulging himself. Uh, Babar Hayat was showing uh, that uh, what a player he is as uh, he, he hit a quick fire 18 of 20 deliveries, which included two sixes and one boundary. Now, as far as Carter was concerned, this was very good bowling from Kali Ahmed. Um, in fact, he cramped him for room uh, and uh, probably Carter wanted to just tickle the ball down to third man region, but um, it was uh, well held by Dhoni. That was the end of Carter. Uh, Babar Hayat uh, was, uh, that's that the score read 191 for three and that with the eight runs added, Babar Hayat was walking to the pavilion as uh, Chahal actually tempted Babar Hayat who was really uh, trying to hit the ball very hard uh, and he tossed the ball uh, very enticingly outside the off stump and uh, Babar Hayat trying to drive the ball but uh, the ball actually turned away and took an outside as Dhoni once again uh, into the mix there taking the catch and Babar Hayat was gone 18 of 20 balls 1, 4, 2, 6 is. Now it was 199 for 4 uh, 199 for 4 and now they had another two new batsmen Shah and Hassan Khan Shah could, um, Shah could make only 17 or 15 balls of 1-6 before uh, Chahal actually ran the better of him again Chahal um, again actually is sliding the ball um, again Shah also uh, slicing the shot and Davan from point uh, taking the catch so that was the end of Shah so that made it 227 for 5 Hassan Khan made 22 and Kali Ahmed was back into the bowling attack and that really started um, um, started uh, hitting Hong Kong hard as Kali Ahmed was the best bowler today um, uh, along with the spinners. Uh, this was very well done by Kali Ahmed. It was his third wicket. He bowled a slower ball and uh, Esan Khan probably wanted to um, um, you know move it down the leg side uh, but he got a top edge onto the ball and Kali Ahmed himself um, uh, went towards short mid on and held the catch as the ball took the top edge. As Askan was uh, sent LBW uh, bowl Chahal, now this was a wrong one from Chahal uh, and it trapped As Askan absolutely plumb in front. And now, now India could probably think that they had a chance as uh, the uh, uh, Hong Kong score at 228 for 6. McKinney, the wicket keeper, uh, was uh, stumped by Dhoni. Uh, down the leg side um, and this was a floater from Kuldi Piyadav. Uh, it went between the bat and pad but the uh, mind was saying Dhoni as smart as he is whipped off the bales and that was the 50th ODI wicket for Kuldi Piyadav. McKinney the wicket keeper stumped Dhoni ball Kuldi Piyadav 7 of 6 balls and now the score at 240 for 7 and this was in the 47th over so but still there was uh, time to go the 47th over they had three more overs uh, still to come uh, and uh, they still needed 45 46 runs uh, but the one thing that was in their favor for hong kong over there the one of the biggest hitters tanvi rafzel who is a dangerous hitter uh, according to me was there at the crease along with ensan nawaz but uh, as i said kali Ahmed was the one who in the death overs saw to it that he did not give any freebies to them and saw to it that India won the match as Tanvir Abzal remained not out on 12 of 10 balls, 1 4, 1 6, uh, and Elsan Nawaz was not out on 2. And um, Netherlands, after sorry, Hong Kong, after getting a tremendous start from their openers, a record opening uh, stand that was put by Anshirat, the captain, and Nizakat Khan, were kept to 259 for 8. As I said, Kali Lamad, uh, the young pace bowler, uh, really coming. Uh, to the rescue of India in the death overs to see to it that India won the match. So Kali Ahmed on his ODI debut, a wonderful job done and India won the match by 26 runs uh, to the relief of all the Indian fans uh, who had gathered in Dubai and also world over as you know as I said uh, India were close to be you know stunned by Hong Kong and uh, that would have even pushed them out of the Asia Cup but uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar 9 was 50 which was another uh, very very saddening thing that uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar leaked 50 runs with 9 overs uh, Kalil Lahmad 10 was no made 3 for 48 Shahadul Thakur was smashed to pulp 4 was 9 for 41 
Charles Denham was 3 for 46, Kundi Piado, Tenham was 2 made in 42 runs for 2 wickets, and Jadav, Senna was no made in 1 for 28. And at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium, Shikhar Dhawan was named man of the match for his 14th ODI century. But one thing I can say, the match which is coming up tomorrow, dear fans and subscribers, is the deal clash. But looking at the way India has played here against Hong Kong, Pakistan uh, would be thinking that they would be favourites tomorrow. Uh, India does not have Virat Kohli, as we all know. But let me tell you uh, that um, India will be the ones who would be more tired because uh, it's a back-to-back -back match. So uh, tomorrow they are playing a match. As far as Pakistan are concerned, they have really rested well after the game against Hong Kong. And they would be absolutely fresh like green beans. Uh, to take on India. So India, especially the morale would be down even though they won the match uh, which was uh, sort of a really, really, they would have, it would have really stressed them up a lot and, um, uh, and you know, India can't afford to play in such a manner against Pakistan as you know, Pakistan had a world-class outfit and um, uh, looking at the way what happened against Hong Kong, uh, I would be probably prompted to say we know that India-Pakistan clash are really special affairs uh, but uh, looking at the way things went on, um, um, the Indian bowlers have to do a much better job. And uh, I think uh, we, we should have an interesting clash. But uh, looking at the way things go on, probably Pakistan have a slight edge. Uh, India having the second string uh, bowling uh, unit here. So it will be interesting to see as to how things pan out. But what a day. It's the it's, it's D-Day clash coming up between India and Pakistan tomorrow on Wednesday at uh, Dubai. Well, dear fans and subscribers, uh, pleasure bringing you this uh, daily cricket show. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this cricket broadcast and uh, we'll be seeing you all tomorrow on the next cricket broadcast that would be uh, on Wednesday. Until then, it's good night.